Hey Siri, turn on do not disturb mode. Okay, I've turned do not disturb on. Thank you. Hello, hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to another video on my channel. So for this week's tanning trials, we are going to be tested some products that I was kindly gifted by a very lovely company, Loving Tan. Now, before we get into this video, I need to put out a disclaimer. This video is not sponsored in any way, shape or form, but these products were gifted to me. So I think that does mean I have to say that this is an ad, even though it's kind of not. Anyway, so yeah, in this week's tanning trials video, we have been testing out the Loving Tan. So I have actually used this two times now, just so I could really get a feel for how the product works. I have quite a few different products here to talk about today, as well as like applicator mitts, exfoliating gloves, all of that good stuff. We're gonna get into that today. So if you haven't already, and you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that bell for notifications to be told absolutely every time I post. And if all else fails, make sure to follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, and my TikTok to keep up to date with everything I'm doing, as well as getting told every time I post. So yeah, starting out from the beginning where I would start my tanning routine, I'm so forgetful, I'm just gonna have to do it in like stages and walk myself through it. I would exfoliate, shave and moisturize a good few hours before I get into tanning, just cause I found that that is the best thing that works for my skin. My pores have time to close, so it just stops any type of product getting it clogged into those pores and just getting all like spotty on your skin. Once I'd done that and I was ready to go, I then started out with these two items. So this is the Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse. I have this in the shade medium. And then I also have the Deluxe Applicator Mitt. I've got two of these, that's why this one's still in the box. And the other one is in the wash. Before I applied this mousse, I went in and reapplied moisturizer to my fingers, my ankles, my knees and my toes. So that sounds like a remix. Head, shoulders, knees and toes. No, we're not doing this right now. So I went in, did that, let it set for a couple of minutes and then I went into applying the tan. So the Deluxe Bronzing Mousse, let's talk about that to start off with. It applied really nice and smoothly onto my skin. The guide layer was really great because it wasn't too light, but it wasn't too dark. The Tanning Mousse formula has been created to banish any type of orange tones. And I could definitely tell that from when I applied it. It looked kind of more of like a warm tone when I applied it to my skin. But later on when I washed it, it was definitely olive and it looked super natural. But that's, that's something to talk about a bit later. The medium shade is for light to medium skin tones. It had a really nice light formula. It didn't feel too heavy on the skin. It dried so, so quick. It was actually great. It didn't dry too quickly because sometimes when tans dry too fast, it can completely suck all of the moisture out of your skin. And that means your tan's not gonna last as long because your skin is hella dry. Also, when I was applying it, it had a really nice floral, but not too heavy scent to it as well. I prefer when tans have more of a lighter to no scent rather than like heavy floral or like sweet smells, just because it can kind of stick to your skin and if that's not your natural body scent it does kind of throw you off a little bit. I also did the friend check as well a couple of days after to make sure that I didn't smell a fake tan and it was all good to go. There was not a biscuit smell in sight. Like I said the formula was really light and smooth. It glided onto my skin really nicely. It wasn't hard to blend into my skin whatsoever. I just applied it with the velvety mitt all over my body. As well, the mitt was really nice to use. The mitt was very well lined as well, so there was absolutely no way that any of that tan was seeping through and staining my hands, because I've had that happen too many times. I repeat, far too many times this far into my tanning journey. So smoothed that into the skin, did two layers of tan, because I really wanted to make sure that I got like the best tan I could possibly have. I was also going out and stuff, so I wanted to make sure that I was all glowy and cute, you know? So yeah, I went in and did that. One top tip that I will have is if you are kind of like me, tan doesn't stick to my chest, very very well or my neck so I go in with kind of like a buffing brush just to kind of make sure that that tan is really really on there and that you haven't missed any patches then I use a half pump of mousse onto the mitt tap the buffing brush into that small amount of mousse and then went over my hands and my feet with that excess product because I didn't want to put too much on there because we all know what happens when you apply too much to your hands and your feet goes a little bit orange okay my skin is very dry on my hands too so I wanted to make sure I didn't oversaturate my hands and it sucks it all in and then it looks crazy. <laughs> On the actual instructions for this product, which I thought was absolutely wild, it said once you've applied the product, wait about 60 seconds before redressing yourself, which is a crazy short amount of time. But I genuinely feel like I probably could have got dressed at the point where I started buffing that product into my hands and my feet, just because my skin was pretty much completely dry to the touch already. So once all the product was applied to my body, my hands and my feet, I left it like one or two minutes and then I got dressed again, ready for bed. It does actually say for you to leave this on for at least six hours. So I usually leave it on for eight just because it takes a little while for it to develop on my skin sometimes. When I woke up in the morning, my clothes didn't stink. I didn't stink. My bed didn't stink. There wasn't any tan on my sheets at all. Everything was like, it was looking pretty good. It Obviously the guide layer had developed, so it was a lot darker than when I first applied it. Usually that can kind of put some people off because they're like, oh my God, this is what color I'm going to be. No, 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 no. Here's your tan godmother telling you. 
that is not always a bad thing. So when I rinsed off the Guide layer, it just kind of went off of my skin really beautifully. My skin didn't stink of the tan or anything like that. It applied really evenly all over my body. It was a really nice, healthy glow to my skin. Very olivey, just a little bit of a green tone, which is perfect because that's way closer to my natural color. So after I'd rinsed off the Guide layer and moisturized my body, I went in and used the Deluxe Face Tan. It's kind of like a really creamy moisturizer texture, but obviously it was brown because it's tan. I decided decided to apply this the morning after I did my body just because this is only supposed to really go on your skin and be left on there for like two hours or so. Well, I applied a generous amount to my face and then used the excess to go down my neck just to really make sure that everything was covered, we're all looking good, everything's even. I let it sit on my skin like I said for the two hours and then I rinsed it away. To be honest the first time I used it there was only a slight kind of warm sun kissed glow but my face was still looking a lot lighter than my neck. So I went in the next day and applied it again and just kind of built up that tan on my face and once I'd done that it was absolutely fine I then I think the rest of the week used it every other day let it sit on my skin and then rinsed it off in the evening just so that it could really have a chance to sit properly on my skin without being disturbed by like makeup or anything I'd rinse it off just with warm water and then I'd apply a moisturizer over the top just to really lock it into place it didn't sink into my pores on my body or on my face the tanning mousse didn't actually sink into the pores on my chest or on my neck or anything it didn't do the same with the tint on my face either which is amazing because I have really 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 bad pores like so bad and it just kind of like once it gets any hint of anything it's just and just holds it in there and it just takes so long to come out. The face tan didn't stick to any dry patches on my face. I could get it around my neck and under my chin. It was all A-OK, -okay. it looked really even. As well, it didn't break me out, which is something that I always worry about when it comes to facial tanners I've never used before, just because sometimes my face is just, it's just not having it. But luckily, it was all okay this time. I think one of the main reasons why this facial tanner didn't break me out is because it's jam-packed with a load of really good, like, skincare-worthy ingredients. First of all, acai berry, which is jam-packed with, like, vitamin C and B to really help lock in the moisture in your skin. Also, green tea, which is packed with antioxidants to help anti-aging on your skin too. Aloe vera, which has loads of amino acids to help reduce redness within your skin. And then they also have pomegranate. Loads of vitamin C and E to help reduce any any kind of uneven skin tones on your face as well which is perfect for me because I always tan way more on my forehead and my chin here and then it's just like my cheeks are kind of a bit left out they look like they're made from a different face it's really funny 100% <laughs> would recommend if you aren't comfortable with using like your hands to apply facial tanner another thing you can do is put some onto the back of the mitt that you've just used to apply it to your body use a buffing brush like I did on my hands and my feet and my neck and just apply it into your face really blend it in nicely as well to make sure that you get a super even and just nice looking coverage it's just as easy as that I love using a blending brush to apply tan it's honestly like one of my main like top tips for anyone starting out. Maybe if you are somebody that doesn't want to keep using the facial tanner like over a course of a few days, maybe pop it onto your skin and leave it a bit longer than two hours. I just did it for the two hours it suggested because I'm a bit scared. I think now that I've used this tan and this kind of formula like a couple of times, I would be more happy maybe potentially leaving it on for like four hours or maybe overnight like I do with the rest of my body tan, just so everything is up to scratch and all the same like straight away. So the following few days after I had initially applied the tan. I believe I applied it on the Sunday and then I went about my week. I am not gonna lie, I'm very bad at remembering to moisturize my skin. I probably should moisturize like twice a day. I definitely don't. Towards the start of the week, I'm usually pretty good at doing a routine where in the morning I get out of the shower and moisturize straight away. That really helps make your tan last so much longer than normal. Um, so yeah, I was doing that for the first few days and I think towards the end of the week, it kind of started to dissipate a lot quicker and I genuinely think that is because I wasn't moisturizing my skin. On average, my tan usually lasts up to roughly about 10 days, any longer than that, and it definitely needs, it like, you, it screams, get off of me. So yeah, I took it off on the, I think it was on like the Monday night, and then reapplied it again, and the next day, left it for a week, which obviously brings it to now. It has lasted so much better that I've been moisturizing every single day. To keep on top of my neck and hand maintenance, because as I said, when you're scrubbing off your makeup on your face, it can also kind of remove what's on your neck too. I used the Deluxe Gradual Tanner as well. I genuinely think as a top tip for anybody that wants to maintain their tan for as long as possible but is super lazy like me, you need a gradual tanner to keep your tan in check, not only to moisturize your body, keep it hydrated so your tan lasts longer anyway, then also if it is that it's starting to fade, you wanna keep on top of it 
by using a gradual tanner. I also have this one in the shade medium. This is created to be buildable for daily use, not only to apply it to your neck and your hands, but also like just the rest of your body in general. If you are wanting to maintain that tan for a lot longer, definitely <laughs> fake tan and then use a gradual tanner like after the first couple of days. It has dragged out my tan wear for so much longer. Like look at my body. Hello? She's still glowy and it's like over a week since I tanned last. This gradual tan also has a salon grade strength, which means that you get the better tan quicker rather than having to wait as long. Obviously it is gradual and a buildable tan, but who wants to wait when you don't have to? So now the part you've all been waiting for, the big reveal, the before and afters. I'm not gonna make you wait any longer. This is what my body looked like before I started tanning. I haven't had any ounce of fake tan on my skin for two or three months. I haven't done a tan review video for a long time. And then this is after. As you can see, the results are phenom. I absolutely love this tan. It's really, it's just all around like a good tan. It doesn't smell, it lasts a really long time. You've got the other products to help maintain it for longer than just a week or so. If you have drier skin, it might last a bit less time. Whereas if you maybe have like nice, not thirsty, super dry skin, or you have a good moisturizing routine, it could even last a lot longer for you. Before we move on to my final thoughts about this, I also in between, like I said, as I use it twice, had to scrub off the remnants of tan. So I used the tan removing and skin polishing glove. If you're somebody that has super sensitive skin, I'd highly recommend using the pink side rather than the dark side of this glove, just because this has less of like an intense texture to it to rub off your tan. Or if you have like a light tan, you don't need to scrub your skin so much. If you are somebody where the tan sticks to your body and does not want to leave you, the black side is the side for you. All you've got to do when you use this is get into the shower, let your skin soak in the moisture from the shower water, loosen up the tan because the warmth of the water just kind of softens your skin a little bit, makes it super easy for you to remove the tan. You just go over your body, circular motions for me, all around, all over, just to really make sure that you get all of the tan off of your body. It's as easy as that, super quick, super simple. You don't need to use any products with it. And they're just so good, not only for getting your tan off, but just if you really want to exfoliate your body before you're shaving or something like that, you should 100% invest in one of these because they're so good also you have one and they last like a really long time but yeah like the results are honestly super great i would highly recommend that you try this loving tan just because these products are gifted to me it doesn't mean i have to say nice things about the products i did actually enjoy using them this is one of the better brands of tan that i've tried and you guys will know i've tried a lot and if you don't know you need to go and watch the tanning trials playlist so that was my thoughts on those products from the loving tan collection if you enjoyed this video please make sure you give it a big thumbs up so i know it really does help me out a lot also i'll leave links in the description to these products in case you want to try them for yourself also as well loving tan was kind enough to give me a code for you guys if you do actually try to use these products yourself if you use the code aisha you get a free tan you met with your purchase I know, you don't even need to buy the mitt, you can just buy the tan and then use yours truly to get the goods. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video and wanna see more like it, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on to be told every time I post a new tanning trials video. I'll also leave links on my screen to my Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok in case you wanna follow me on there. I highly recommend you do. Thank you again so much for spending your time with me this week and watching another tanning trials video. I hope you have a lovely rest of your week and I will see you next time for another video. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.